Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Bruce Kopp, a Hoosier woman accused of faking a pregnancy before kidnapping another woman's baby is now pleading guilty. Desiree Kemp is charged with kidnapping, arson, theft, and auto theft in the case. Investigators say she abducted her friend's one-month-old infant last December and set the woman's apartment on fire. Investigators found tweets that Kemp allegedly sent out earlier that week pretending she was going into labor. Police arrested her soon after and found the baby unharmed. A judge will sentence her next month. The Marion County Auditor is suing the city of Indianapolis for $6 million over the city's electric car program. Democrat Julie Voorhees claims the city illegally paid Blue Indy for its electric car sharing service. She claims the City County Council never approved the budget for the project and that the city never put the project up for public bid. Indiana lawmakers are endorsing a series of small steps to help the state's ongoing teacher shortage. Lawmakers on a committee to address the issue signed off on 19 recommendations and called on the full state legislature to vote on it. Steps include budgeting more money for teacher pay, offering career training, and expanding mentorship training. Another plan would move teachers from a pension to a 401k style retirement plan. And state police are taking over the investigation into missing funds from the Madison County Drug Task Force. Anderson police asked ISP to get involved after the department conducted its own internal investigation. Detectives say someone stole more than $5,000 from the office last month. A security card is required to get into the room, but the door was found propped open several times. Investigators say they're still searching for the thief. More on the story later and at WTHR.com. I'm Bruce Kopp. Have a safe day.